The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Nodulator Pro, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. So a lot of uh, agronomists in Ontario will talk about the importance of adding multiple modes of action to any weed control program. I'm in a field here where there's a pretty good case study uh, for why that advice gets used a lot. So this is Canada fleabane. Uh, in this field, ideally we would have been in here trying to control it three, four weeks ago when it was small, just a little rosette. But Mother Nature often dictates when you can get in a field. This was sprayed about 10 days ago. And, and here's the dilemma a lot of producers face. This is a, about a 10 acre field, and the amount of Canada fleabane in the field probably takes up less than 1% of the entire area. It's a very small patch. And so the dilemma becomes, okay, I'm gonna use glyphosate in my burn down here to control the majority of weeds. This fleabane, I don't know if it's resistant or not. Do I tank mix another mode of action that might cost me another five, 10, $15 an acre? Or do I just hope that it dies with glyphosate? So we're about 10 days after application. Yes, the flea bane's on the large size, it's not ideal, but it's 10, 20 centimeters tall. Uh, it's been warm conditions. Glyphosate should work really well in this scenario, but 10 days after, I'm not overly optimistic. Like here, we're seeing some yellowing in the, the growing point. Hopefully this dies, but we see an awful lot of browning and leaf burn, and that sometimes can be an indication that we're dealing with a herbicide resistant population, that we see that immediate leaf burn and then that plant regrows, it bushes out. So going back to this field, yeah, a very small patch of Canada fleabane, but the beans have been planted. They're in the ground. They're gonna come up in this heat in two or three days. I, I'm out of options to deal with this patch. Had I had mixed another mode of action, I'd have a much better chance at getting this under control. Now uh, I'm looking at hand pulling, uh, probably, because if I let all this stuff go to seed, that's hundreds of thousands of seeds. Uh, this patch that's maybe 20 square meters at the most, not even, is gonna be much bigger uh, next year. So multiple modes of action, it's something said all the time, whether that's cover crops, tillage, other herbicides, kind of important when you're dealing with a herbicide resistant weed.